You know what everyone can't stand about Notion Task Management? The fact that you can't use Quick Capture. But you know what nobody thinks about? The fact that you can do something like this task example for a certain project. Wait a second, did I just quick add for Notion using Todoist? Let's talk about that. When the lovely people at make.com reached out to sponsor a video, I said, hey, let's use this to my advantage, to your advantage, and find something that would be really fun for the both of us. If you don't know Make or haven't registered yet, feel free to do so. Use my link and get one month of Make's Pro Plan for free. So Make is essentially an automation company. So what I ended up doing was making a scenario to show you how to take something like a new Todoist task and turn it into a Notion task like this, because Todoist is probably the best quick capture app on the market. So if I could take the different things like projects, priority, labels, and use those to bring them into a Notion task database, then essentially you'd have quick capture for Notion and everyone could be happy. Now this will work with the free plan on Make and on Todoist because the free plan gives you a lot. You get a solid amount of automations for free per month, but using this automation, I can take a task database like this and allow everything to come through, whether it be priority, labels, example project relations, projects, and everything you'd want. So if we did something like this really quick and did a task example, rise productive, then pressed run once and then said listen for new just to show you it, pressed add task, the scenario was complete. And then this task example, rise productive with side hustle would come through and it showed that it's P4 because it didn't put anything on it and it showed no labels. And it would also go to side hustle because that is what I assigned to it. Now, how do we make this happen? I'm gonna create a new scenario here. So when you create a new scenario, what you're gonna wanna do first is go to Todoist and then do new trigger and then choose a hook. So you're gonna add from tasks and then the, you have to connect your Todoist account. So watch for task added, okay? Then you're gonna add another module. And for this one, you're gonna wanna put a switch. So you're gonna have to go to tools here and then in tools, you're gonna have switch. So what a switch does is it essentially takes an input so something that it's gonna get from this webhook, which is the new event in Todoist, and bring it into a new format for the thing that's gonna spit out later for the Notion database. So you're going to do a one for priority first. So this input is gonna be the new event priority. And essentially what you're gonna to have to do is realize that it's inverted. So for the Todoist system, a one means a priority four two means priority three, three means priority two, and four means priority one. So you're gonna have to basically do this. One outputs P4, and then continue this in the opposite direction. Okay, okay, so then you should make sure that it looks like this. One being the lowest, and then four being the highest of priorities. And then luckily for this, you're not gonna have to put an else, but for certain situations you may. And then next you're gonna add another switch. So go to tools, then another switch. So we're gonna label this one. We right click and rename project switch. Then we can rename this one priority switch. And what this essentially does is we can take the project ID. Now to do this, we'll not pull in the project name. So this is what we have to do a switch for this. And we're gonna add cases where we take a pattern, which is the ID number that comes through and then have an output for the name of it. So what you're going to do is go to your Todoist and in this account, you're going to need to find what each project ID is. So you can do that by going here. So we see this end of the URL and we copy this. What we're gonna basically do is go through and put the name to the number. And then when you get all of your normal ones done, you have to then go and make sure that you do an else for this. So the else is essentially if none of them come out right, you're going to want to make sure it goes somewhere. So else you should put inbox because that's what happens if you didn't put anything on it. Now, if you wanna actually put the project for inbox in there or team inbox, you can go and copy that project as well. So if we put this here, make sure the output is inbox. But essentially if you put a task in, when you're adding a task with Todoist and you have no project associated to it, then it will just go to the inbox, which is what you probably want to have. So then make sure whenever you finish something, you press OK. And then let's add another switch. And this switch is going to be the most difficult out of these. So we're going to actually have to go to the Notion side of things first and then work back from there because labels do not have the same thing where you can just see what the number is like you can with projects. So unfortunately, what we're going to have to do is go and do the Notion one. And this is create a database item. So 
you need to add a Notion connection. What you're gonna do is go to Notion, go to settings and members, go to integrations, and then develop your own integrations. And what I did was create a new integration, give it a name, which I did, go to add connection type, and you can do Notion internal. And then what'll come out, like what I have with my make.com one, is this. You're gonna copy this integration token and paste it in here and press save. So I already have that set up. And then in order to make this work, you're gonna have to select from a list or enter manually. So I would recommend entering manually and doing this. You're gonna make sure that if you go to the page, you're going to go here and then press share with your make.com integration. Invite for that overall page where your task management's on. So then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go into the database itself. So if we go into here, we copy this link, paste it in. The database is going to be after your name and the Notion URL and before the question mark. So if I press OK, this will connect it. So then getting this Notion thing to work is actually pretty simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and add an item and easy enough, you're gonna just map the name. So the key is like the name of the property in Notion. So the title is name and the value will come out as content from the Todoist webhook. Just put that in there. And then you're gonna set up a key that works. So you can put something like projects, priorities, labels, and then you can have an example relation, which we'll get to. But essentially the next one, you can put project. And what we want is for it to spit out a select property that is from the project switch output. And then you can do this one, which is from the priority one. So for the key, we just put a name in priority. Then for the value type, we're gonna do select again, then we're gonna put priority. Then we're gonna get the priority output from the switch. And then for the label, since we don't have it set up yet, what we're gonna wanna do is put label or labels, and then I'm gonna do a multi-select because that's what we had here. In order to figure out what the heck the label IDs are, you're gonna have to go here and put label ID or just labels here. And then if we press OK, press save. What we're gonna do is do run once. So now it's waiting to get a new task. So what we can do here is test some things out. So test this side hustle project one or work one. So this is like a work project coming through. And then what we're gonna do is add some labels. So let's do a work label too. And then we're gonna do a priority two. So now if we press add task, it'll trigger the different things that we set up. So it created the Notion database item. If we go back there, you can see that it spit out P2, work, and a label. So this label is something that we can then do. So if we like clone this project switch to make it easy on ourselves, rename it to label switch, and then go here, change this project ID to the label and to doist. Then what we can do is we can take this number, paste it in here, and make it work. Now I'm not gonna go through all of mine. I'm gonna delete these other ones. And then if we put for the else here, we just have to put none if we don't have a label on it. And then last but not least, if we wanna add a relation to it, what we're gonna have to do is get the relation figured out as well, just like with the labels. So we're gonna do a relation switch. So let's clone this module, name this relation switch. And essentially what you're gonna have to do it's just take the page ID and put them here. So you're gonna go to project ID or label ID, whichever one you want, and say you want to associate a project to a specific relation page. What's really easy about this is that all you have to do is go here and say, for example, copy link to this. I'm just gonna associate, so this is gonna say, this is the side hustle page that I just grabbed. So you pasted the link, and then what you're gonna do is you can take the very end of this and this is the page ID. So we're gonna do the same thing where essentially I just wrote that there for my own understanding and then take this rise productive project ID or the label ID, whichever one you want, put this here and then we can get the work page to copy the link, paste this in here, delete it, and then else you're just gonna leave that empty. And then the final step to this is you're gonna have to make sure that you change this to the label switch output and then you're gonna have to add to the key, the name of your property name, so example relation switch project, then the value is a relation, then add the output from the relation switch. Then if we switch those outputs, you're actually gonna need to take this relation switch and put an else on this. So if else, if it doesn't grab anything, then let's make it a side hustle task or something like that. So then if we do run once, let's do rise productive, which is my side hustle at work, 
test. So that broke through. So this should give me a side hustle and it selected the project and the side hustle for that. And the label also brought in the work one and it was priority four because I didn't put a priority on it. So easy peasy. Now at any point in time, if I have to do a stopen, I can do really easy quick capture at any point in time, which is something that you can't do in Notion and is something that everyone keeps looking for. But all you gotta do is be a little bit creative with some automation software to make anything that you want happen with this. Also, click on this to see how you can improve your productivity even more.